Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grief Drums, and welcome back to another video of Top 3 Tips of the Week. As the name suggests, this is a video series in which I break down three tips each week to hopefully help assist you in your game. If you want to get involved, please submit all of your tips and tricks to my Discord, include pictures, videos, anything you have, and hopefully it'll make it into a future episode. The link will be down in the description below. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first tip today comes up on Coastline. I was shown this on Twitter. I can't remember for the life of me who it was that posted it. And I can only apologize for that. But this vault is so cheeky. It's a really nice rotation for both defenders and attackers. But by coming over to this little balcony over here, you can create a hole in the wall into the billiards room and you can vault straight in. This honestly is just going to be so, so handy and so effective. It's a little bit high risk, high reward because you are exposing yourself to certain areas of the map. But by opening up this section of the wall and looking just here onto the bar, you can just sprint and vault in. Now, it is a bit finicky the first few times you do it. You have to try and stay quite close to the tree that's on your right. Um, but on the whole, if you're pushing through and you know, you're know sort of coming through this south hallway, trying to have a look into the aquarium and stuff, well, you know someone's in the billiards. By coming around and doing this sort of a rotation, they are never going to expect to see you from this angle. It's just, it's going to take so many people by surprise. So definitely, definitely something you should check out. It may take a little bit of practice to get used to it, I will be honest. It took me a little while to figure out exactly where to go and how to aim. Um, and I also believed for quite a while that you needed to open the top half of the wall. But you can actually do it with the whole wall open if you need to. It doesn't just need to be the top section. So try it, have a go, see if you can incorporate it into your game. And let me know how you get on because I think this is filthy. So for tip number two today, we are over on the map border. Now this tip actually came from the game between Motivate and Disrupt GG. And I believe Coconut Bra also covered it in one of his recent videos. So please make sure to go and check that out. But for you today, this tip is both good for attackers and defenders. By coming up just outside the armory, opening the single door, you can open this section of wall and the hatch. And it gives you a really nice line of sight down into the workshop. Really far back, actually. It's a rotation that a lot of defenders seem to use when they're playing this site. So, as you can see, the bullets really do go far back. The other interesting thing about this is it doesn't just have to be for attackers. If you're a defender, you get a really good line of sight up through the armory locker's single door, which is a very, very high traffic area. Um, if you're defending the lockers, you can actually get a line of sight up onto the doorway to stop anyone from pushing in or to at least light them up a hell of a lot. So the angles you can get through this, um, they look a bit dodgy. It doesn't look like you can see a massive amount, but let's face facts. Up on that balcony area, a lot of people get up there, and once they've got control of the security room, sort of stagnate out here and take their time trying to push in and get peeks on people at the half wall in the lockers. So lining up a few shots onto them from way back in the workshop, is going to be really cheeky. Now, this particular clip, I'm trying to show it more as a defender than anything, because obviously you're not going to sledge open the wall anywhere near as much as I did in the first clip. By playing as Jackal, I've used the shotgun to sort of emulate mirror and just open the bottom section of the wall. But as you can see, you can sit back in the workshop, even if you weren't defending this site, and get a really, really good line of sight. Now, the bullets go all the way up to here. That seems really high, but obviously you are very, very low. So the angle that you're going to be shooting up at is going to be taking people's heads off. I think we could potentially get some pretty disgusting clips from this. So uh, again, let me know how you get on. So our final tip today is going to be on the map border again. However, this is more for alibi. It's not necessarily just on this map. But these blue tarps down here that are laying on the floor are going to be really, really effective at hiding the base of the prisma itself. As soon as you throw them down, the base it completely disappears. It sort of clips down through it and you can only see the very end corners as you can see here. Now, Alibi herself, she is a pretty effective operator in the sense of certainly in the last few seconds of a game and you're pushing in, you're, you're trying to figure out which one's the real one and which one isn't. This is going to make it that much harder because the base just doesn't stand out at all. It clips below it and it is really effective, especially in the workshop where there are so many of these blue tarps. Downstairs on this map is, is really, really effective for Alibi. But there are these blue tarps on other maps in the game. So it's worth keeping an eye out for those and seeing if you can cause this to happen again where it's sort of the base clips through and disappears completely. It's a little bit cheeky and could probably bag you some kills. I mean, if a drone's not paying attention 
and goes past looking for the base and doesn't see it, that may benefit you because they may think that you're trying to do some sort of House of Mirrors trick. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. And if you want to see me try this kind of stuff live, I am on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays from 7.30 UK time. Don't forget to vote down in the comments below for the tip that you like the most and why. You can use the number located at the top left of the screen. If you don't subscribe already, make sure to for all things Rainbow Six. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay reckless and relentless.